everything that's made is deliberate. It's all deliberate. Somebody made choices about everything in the space. <laughs> Nothing is incidental. <laughs> I did a foundation at art school. And during that time, I suddenly realized that actually I was interested in the thing, the space between things rather than things. And then realized that actually that meant something to do with architecture. We sketch, but literally almost all drawings are now made by computers. Um, but buildings are made by hands still. <laughs> so they're wonky and wobbly. <laughs> they're not quite straight, they're shimmied. <laughs> so we're always striving for certain kinds of perfections, architects are, we're, we're like obsessed with perfections. But in the end, you know, there's a bloke who woke up and he had a bad day and he's putting down your floor and you know, he's just not focusing. So like the floor gets put in really badly <laughs> or, you know, there's things that happen. So there's a kind of very, but I, I quite like that. There's a kind of very nice humanizing of these ideas of perfection. And I think that actually that's what kind of makes things interesting, that they're done by human beings still. Some architects like to just have complete control and, you know, just hand it over to me and I'll come, come back and I'll give you the key. I'm completely useless in that situation. I mean, if you said, okay, here it is, just do something and I'll come and get it. I'll be like, there'll be nothing there when you come back. I'll be like, I, I need the dialogue. I can't build a house that's just about what I think when it's for somebody else. I've got to know about what their life is and what they want, because that's what I'm translating into space. I'm trying to say that there's a collective idea here, not a singular idea. I'm not an artist who's painting and making sculpture on my own and saying, don't you think it's interesting? I'm trying to kind of interact with the world and interpret it into physical things, which have maybe an influence and, for me, an edification to people, like lifts them. Knowing what the feeling is, I, that's the critical thing. What is the feeling when you see it? What is the feeling when you're in it? Yeah, critical. It's, it's how a cathedral builder knows how to elevate your feelings to something higher than the mundane around you. So scales of space are really important to architecture because they have meaning. So yeah, I think buildings put you to sleep or wake you up. It's always for me the, the most sort of magical when you have finished a building, especially a public building, and then you go in and you see thousands of people or hundreds of people or a few people just walking around and they use the building as though they've always known it was there or they know it somehow. And you know it as something that just came out of your mind. And it's always a kind of an amazing moment when you finish something and you are in it and nobody knows who you are and they're sort of all using it. It's, it's very pleasurable. It's, it's, it's what's compelling about architecture for me.